Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Hey, amigo, put it down. I don't want yeah, to. No, 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 no. Listen, I don't, I don't have, have cash on, brother. I'm sorry. Sorry. No, no cash. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Good morning, Angelito. Good morning. Morning, Aldo. Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning. Well, who's touching my legs? <laughs> How was your sleep, your I, shower? I slept good, yeah. finally, but mm -hmm. the shower was trash. Absolute trash. Felt like someone was just peeing on me mildly. <laughs> <laughs> I had hot water for like 10 seconds. So we are um, going on a bit of an adventure in Santo Domingo. As you guys know, we drove down to Santo Domingo yesterday. We're going to go down into Santo Domingo, do some abandoned exploring, some, touristy, some tourist yeah, stuff as well. And we're gonna be going to a castle apparently. So we're gonna see what that's all about. Hope you guys are up for an adventure today. Let's go on one. It is a crazy one out here in Santo Domingo. We just witnessed a freaking car tire flying off a car, hitting a bunch of other cars, flying in the air, hitting a truck. Couldn't get it on camera, but it is madness out here today. Dude, look at all the garbage in the river. Holy, that that's thing is full of This garbage. is not as bad as the one back there. Yeah. Damn, we're in this thing. Ghetto area kind of there's garbage everywhere in the river. This is a different part of Dominican that I've never seen before. And look, you're right, they do have like a train, uh, like yeah, a tram. I don't think it's a train, right? It's like a more it's of a, a tram, I guess you would call it. Anybody want some potatoes? Potato, potato. 20 potatoes for a hundred pesos. Look at all the groceries. All right, so we're heading to this castle, literally about 10 minutes away, but we stopped off to check out this beautiful Caribbean ocean view with a lot of sirens. If you guys remember me, Shadia, Rania, and Layla, we stayed at that hotel up there. <laughs> what? But yeah, we're on Malacone Beach right now. This is the beautiful dirty beach that they have here. Hey, this is the very famous Malacone Beach. Cool. Yeah. Uh, why don't you get a closer look then? Look at look at how beautiful look look at how beautiful it is down there. Come see. Very beautiful. Oh wow, look at all that. Lots garbage. of garbage. Yeah. Wow. People really like taking care of their beaches out here, don't Yeah, they? look at all the friggin' garbage in the waters. This, that's why it smells so bad out here. It smells nasty. It smells nasty. Dang. Yeah. Kinda nice but nasty at the same time. It smells terrible here to be honest. Everything about this place reminds me of Cuba for some reason. It's like I ain't trying to let everyone through I'm just trying to get through myself there we go this really does remind me of Cuba though so cool come to the beautiful colonial way they said it'll be beautiful they said I don't even know why it said to come this way we could have literally just kept going down that one road there's literally a freaking truck block in the way the area we're in is super historic it's basically where Christopher Columbus first showed up and then started killing people over here and after all the killing was done, they had buildings. The end. Pretty much. Great story. <laughs> oh my god, they're dumping the rocks now? Wow. Now? Wow. You son of a... This should be interesting. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, it's out. Oh. Oh, taking a dump? It's, Sorry, it's pretty right? satisfying, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we just got to this monastery. That looks like it's seen better days. I don't think anyone's taking care of it. It's pretty much abandoned. There's someone right there inside. I know, but you can just still walk up to it. It's considered like ruins. Yeah, it's a ruin. It's a monastery ruin. Got a cu couple of people in there. I heard you can't get in, but I heard you can also get in some other way. Let's figure it out. Let's find a way to break into this monastery. This is cool. I actually wanted to come here like weeks ago. It looks like they're trying to like restore it too. That's good. I'm seeing a lot of restoration efforts in this area. Like they're trying to restore all the old historic buildings. Places run down though. Where we're trying to go after this is like an actual castle. It's like a couple minutes away from here. Oh, they're actually working on it. All right, it looks like we're not breaking into this. They're literally working on it. Yeah, that's why it said temporarily closed on... Ah, uh, oh, cool. Look at that dome. That's so cool. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys like this historic shit? Like, should I do a lot of, like, vlogs where I go to, like, historic places? Show you guys what the colonizers built. <laughs> that's like old basketball courts. That's so cool. Look at all these basketball courts. I wonder if the colonizers built these, too. Freaking colonizers coming here to this island and building buildings. 
Whoa, this is cool. Just seeing this, the way this looks, that is so pretty. Wow. We're gonna try to walk to the back of this thing and see if we can find a way in. There's always a way in. Even though there's like construction workers and stuff, there's always a way to sneak into something. One thing we've learned. This is a cool looking area. Very cool, yeah. It's like really historic. Yeah, this is the front. I thought the other side was the front. Damn. Yeah, wow, look at that. This is what it used to look like and that's what it's going to look like once they're done. Yeah, real talk guys, I feel like I'm in Havana right now in Cuba. I've been to Cuba a couple of times, or like four times I think, but it definitely, this place gives off Cuba vibes, like from the buildings and the alleyways. Angela just mentioned that this monastery that we stumbled upon is the oldest monastery in all the Americas. The first one ever built. And that's probably why they want to restore it. Yeah, I think at this point it's more of a maintenance <laughs> to make sure the rest of it doesn't fall apart. Yeah, uh, I mean it's crumbling. It's crumbling. Like, there's clearly a section you can go into there. Yeah. Right? And it probably looks really gorgeous in there, too. Whoa. That was perfect. <laughs> that was perfect timing. I knew this plate has some Cuban influence. There we go. Right? I literally said it before. There's, like, Cuban vibes out here. You know, like, Cuban building vibes? <laughs> Yo, we're literally walking in history right now. This is all old school Spanish architecture. Man, talk about fitting anything you could possibly fit into your trunk. I'm walking on very historic steps right now that are very filthy. There's garbage everywhere in this goddamn place. There's a bottle full of piss. What do we got going on here? Where is this damn castle? Oh, I think that's it there. And it's under construction, of course, it's closed. God damn it, every time we go somewhere around here, it's like under construction. Definitely a lot of homeless guys living up here. Yeah, online it says this museum is yeah. open. It's a castle museum, but so far it's been closed. We're gonna try to get to the front of it, see where that takes us. Maybe the other side is open, but they're just doing construction on everything that's touristy here. Which explains why there's- Because it's like slow season still, right? Yeah, yeah. Which probably explains why there's no tourists here right now. Yeah. We're actually pretty worried about Alex because everywhere we've been going around here, it's like SWAT team guys on bikes with machine guns and like random cops here and there. And we've been happy to go like different uh, ways because the cops, uh, you know, Alex is illegal here. And if he gets caught, they're going to deport his ass right away. So it's friggin' hard to film out here while having a guy with us that isn't supposed to be here, according to them. Um, and it sucks. They would literally just take him, put him in jail a few days, and then send him on his way back to Haiti. Didn't they build all this in like the 1400s? 15. 1515, holy shit, this thing is old, man. It was, for, uh, it was built by Diego Columbus, who is uh, Christopher Columbus's son. Imagine this, you probably have some guards guarding this back in the day. Yeah, guys with cannons and, or guns there. You got some cannons there, aiming out to the ocean. Keep in mind, this was a fort to protect. Finally, some shade. I don't even understand. Not wearing a hat in the sun is like crazy, but I refuse to wear a hat. It's been almost three months since I've been here. And I haven't worn a hat once, not one time. I don't want to wear a hat anymore. But I think a day like today is a must because... <sighs> Have you ever been to the fort in St. Augustine? No. No? It's kind of like that. <laughs> but older, I think. This is kind of reminds me of the fort in Porta Plata. Have you been okay. to that one? No. Me and Shadia went there. It was well, actually nice. I might have nice. gone like long time ago, but I don't really know. Really it was actually really, really nice to go to that one. Hey, you know what's funny? This is Alex's first like touristic thing that he's ever done in his life. This is the first time you come to something like this? Yeah, it's my first time. So wow, you like it? So much. It's cool, right? It's nice spot to be. It's nice to change things up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be open to go inside because usually it's a museum. But we're going to try. We're going to go up these like, flights of stairs. Oh, it's, it's a open because look at all the tourists up there, dude. There's like 100 tourists up there. Oh, yeah. Look at all these kids on their school field trip. This is wild. Literally, out of all times. I know, right? They had to close the castle. Out of all times that we could have come here. 
dang it. Sir, do you need some sunscreen? <laughs> some sun lotion what might help you out? There's chickens everywhere here. Come here, chicken. Come here, chicken. Come here, chicken. Come here. Come here, chicken. Come here. All right, we made it to the top of this one. I think this one is open. I think we can actually go into this one. So. Let's check out this view. They got cannons over here. Oh, what the hell? Look at all the trash in the water. That's crazy. Dude, look at all the garbage in the water. I think that's a garbage cleaning thing. One of those like barriers that clean garbage. Yeah, holy wow. All right, we're in the museum. Upstairs is closed for renovations, but we're gonna be able to see um, a lot of the cool artifacts that they had here. Man, I like this place. <laughs> right? I have the urge to ring this bell. Let's ring it. Let's try. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but this bench does not look like a comfortable bench to lay on. Ugh. Oh, what the hell? These come out. Oh, these are cannonballs. I thought this was one of those like anti-homeless benches. You know what I mean? Like you don't want the homeless guys to sleep on these benches? Look at these walls. You should try sitting on them. See if it's actually anti homeless Alright, here, here, here. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Alright, let's see. Oh, this is comfortable. Oh, yeah. It's like a massage, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's that actually, that actually feels so good. It's like a massage? <laughs> yeah, now you should try it. All right, challenge. We got a challenge. Let's see who can hold all these with one hand, all right? One hand, one hand, one hand, one hand. All right, we're I can't do this one. Oh, all right, wow. go for it. You start no, you gotta start from the back, you doofus. Start from the, start from the front, front, over here. Get over here. I don't think he can do the fourth one. The fourth one? Yeah. It's like Barely. Slippery. Slippery. Uh, no, no, you have to hold it like this. It's a grip. It's a yeah, grip yeah, challenge. But don't drop it. My hands are small. And it's slippery. And it's slippery. And it's Italian. Yeah, see how hard it is? Yeah, it's kind of hard to do. Alright, so this one's easy. This one's easy. This one's easy. That's slippery. so hard, right? <laughs> you need a good grip. You need a bigger hands. Challenge. Wait, who's got bigger hands here? Alex. Yeah, I think it's not heavy. Alex, it's just try slippery. to pick up that third one that Aldo's picking up. It's just slippery. No, no, not that one. The third one that Aldo's picking up. Yeah, that one. I think he can do it. His hands are big enough. Oh, yeah. No, no, yeah, keep it straight down. Keep it, yeah, like that. Oh, see, he can do it. Try to do the other one, the bigger one. Try to do this one. You just need big hands. Holy moly. That's you crazy. That's so close. Yeah. That is it's awesome grip. <laughs> Like Holy! <laughs> See that? Yeah, that's easy. <laughs> Fun fact: When you were a bad person back then, they would connect these to your testicles okay. on a rope, and you would have to stand in the sun all day. Okay. Yeah. yeah right. I can assure you that your testicles would not survive. No, they actually did this. They actually would end up getting bigger because of it. Not bigger, but they would hang. Closer. You guys don't believe me? No, not at all. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Okay, there's no way this ain't a torture device. What the hell is this? If only we spoke Spanish, or only we oh, took the audiobooks. Right? Only we had a Spanish guy with us. Damn, look at the oh, gears. What do you think this is for? All of these are for torture. We do sour. Yeah. This is all for torture? Yeah, look at the guy. The, the guy had his like neck in this thing. Oh my god. Okay, but particularly torture for the slaves. The slaves, yeah. That is That's horrible. crazy. Especially in this weather, it's already hot enough. It's already torture as it is. Hmm. Guys, this is so pretty. I would love a house one day in the future. Maybe when I go to heaven eventually. You know, big arches like this. You know these chairs date back to 1500s, these chairs? Yeah, 15, this one's 1544. Hey look, I found Christopher Columbus's car. Yeah, he's got a car, it's right here. This is Christopher Columbus's car. Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Imagine picking up your girl on this on a date. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't think he was black. I was wondering what he looked like. He's very tan. He's been in the sun a little while. Whoa, I thought I smelled something old in here. Look at this big freaking flag. I wonder, this has got to be like relics from back in those days, like that they just kept here. It's so big. It's like a big flag of some sort. There's something super amazing about the smells of this room in particular. It must be this flag. It's got to be it. Oh, this is so cool. I got this room all to myself, and it's full of jars 
and vases and like glassware and stuff from back in the days. Look at these like wine, wine barrels. Oh, this is really nice. Imagine we still had stuff like this nowadays. Like just, this is how you stock your homes with these glass jars and not just plastic garbage. It just looks so cool. It makes the wall look full. I like it. This has got to be for like distilling alcohol. What the heck? Yo, see this water well? Yeah. That thing goes in deep. Is it a well? Yeah, it's got to be. This is a staircase in it too. Hello. Christopher Columbus, are you down there? This is creepy. Yeah. This looks like some Transformer shit. All right, we're now actively looking for restaurants. We are hungry. Gonna get a bite to eat. We're thirsty as well because we've been in the sun all day. It's crazy hot out here. If I'm complaining about the heat and you guys know how much I love the heat, then you know it's freaking crazy. How are all these kids wearing sweaters? I don't, I don't get it. All these kids are wearing actual hoodies and sweaters. How? They have to, right? Why? Why do they have to? They're wearing like double and triple layers too. Like what the hell is that? I mean, we're being modest. That's crazy. Modest. Yo, we just walked into this chocolate factory store. I think you get to make your own chocolate here. Also that. This movie is chocolate tea. Chocolate tea. I've never heard of chocolate tea before. It's really good for your mind. Oh, my mind's a bit messed up right now, so let's try some chocolate tea. Try? Yes. Holy crap, it's hot. That's actually oh, really good. That's delicious, though. I love that. A chocolate tea is really this mm. the shell of cacao beans. Oh, the and shell of cacao beans. Yes. Mm. Making and china more in sugar. This is my favorite chocolate right here, yes. dark chocolate. Thank you, sir. And that. Mm. Dark chocolate is the best. I love how we just walked into this place, filmed a free chocolate, and walked out. <laughs> oh, that's like, oh, that's cool. That's like a place where you can just like sit and eat and drink your chocolate coffee. Yo, I had to get me some cold water, fam. I'm like suffering today. This is what happens when you walk out in the sun with no hat. Whoa, look at this building over here. The tour continues. And the construction sounds, oh my god, what is this? Hey, it looks like we're having lunch here. This is really pretty. What, what the heck is this place? Bro. I wanna make out. Let's do it right now. <laughs> we're gonna have a make out session right here with the camera. Okay. <laughs> Romantic. <laughs> hey, get away, get away. Imagine vlogging with that thing. You know those guys that like get B-roll shots for like websites? Yeah. That's exactly what he's doing right there. Selling his B-roll shots on a website. I'm filming Angelo, filming a guy, filming a building. What is it, another monastery over here? No, no, it looks like it. This one is cool. This one at least isn't under construction. Whoa, look at the arches on that thing. Apparently they're sitting like this because they're waiting to get mated. Are you trying to get some? You trying to get some, mommy? Look at them, they're all trying to get some action. This one's really waiting for that action. Damn, I'm so close to them. Yo, look at all these yummy looking pizzas. We found this like Italian place. There's so many cool looking pizzas. I'm grabbing a margarita for myself. All right, I'm getting a, another one with four cheese on it as well. Hell yeah. Got my first pizza over here. This thing looks amazing. It's like fluffy and airy. This is the margarita one that I got. And I got the four cheese over here. I'm gonna actually start off with the four cheese. That looks amazing. So, mm. Bro, this is delicious. Oh yeah. Oh my god. The charcoal on it. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna take a bite of the margarita now. Mm. Oh yeah, the chili. <laughs> All right, that pizza restaurant we just went to, probably the fastest food we've ever had in the Dominican Republic, and it was absolutely delicious. Oh, this guy over here. One of the best pizzas I have had in the DR. Actually, one of the best pizzas I've had anywhere. That was really delicious. Like I would go back there daily. Hey, what's going on, my friend? How you living? Dude, he looks. Thumbs up, bro. What's up, bro? Looks what's like up, he's been man? sitting there for a while. 
after we finished eating, we came back to a place that we realized is actually yeah, called going. Columbus Park. So this whole park here, this is Columbus Park, the famous Columbus Park. We had no idea when we were here earlier. Uh, we're gonna try to get into the actual building because that's like a very um, important building apparently. Really touristy. All those back chilling in the car, but we're gonna go inside and check it out regardless. Yeah, shake it baby, shake it. <laughs> All right, so I think it's a cathedral of some sort. Holy, this is nice. All right, so they don't allow um, filming in here, but I'm gonna do just that. This is cool. Wow, look at all these animals. <laughs> this is pretty cool, actually. I feel like I'm in like Disney, but. It's for the nativity. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you can't take videos, only photos, but I'm making it look like I'm taking photos of everything. This is really beautiful. It reminds me of when me and Shadi were in Turkey and we went to the president's palace. Oh yeah? And they were, bro, it was like, Fort Knox, yeah. The second they see a phone, no phone, no phone. Yeah. So I was filming the whole time with my lens. It looks like it was closed, but I filmed an entire video in there. We just got out of the... Uh, the cathedral it was actually really cool to see as a muslim i like seeing other people's cultures and like their prayer places because if you don't have religion in your life guys you got you got nothing honestly these dogs dying um it was cool to see i think they had an actual grave in there you aren't allowed to film there so we made it look like we're kind of taking photos that's why like we were filming in a weird way it was kind of like turkey when me and shadia went to the presidential palace and you couldn't film there but we were like sneaking around and filming everything secretly it was pretty cool they kind of yelled at us at a couple a couple times when we were doing that, but it was pretty uh, it was a pretty cool experience, and this was a cool experience too. We got one more thing we're gonna go look at. It's like a big fort. It's called the Fort of Osama, kind of like Osama. Like, I don't know. It was weird. Good doggy. Don't bite us, doggy. Uh oh, he's coming here. Hey, doggy, you chilling? That's like the K Karen of the neighborhood. Look at these baby mangoes. That's so cool. Good. We're trying to figure out a way into this place. Looks like we might have to break in. Oh shit, we got a soldier up ahead. <laughs> and we got an illegal, <laughs> an illegal, illegally illegal guy with us. <laughs> We've been pushing our luck with him this entire time. Like we've been walking by SWAT guys, guys with like M16s. Dude, literally right under their noses. Yeah. But it's okay, we have a plan. If anybody asks, we went to school together in Canada. We're yeah. in Canada. Just don't talk. So Alright, if you're planning on coming to Santo Domingo and you watch my videos, just know one thing, all the tourist stuff is closed right now. Don't waste your time coming here, it's all closed. Unless you want to go to that pizza place, that it's place okay, was amazing. I have an idea. What? I have the drone. Ooh. A Angelo? Angelo, where'd you go? Where is he? Where's he gone? Where's Angel? Oh, wait, did that statue just move? Wait, let's see its pee pee. Is it small? <laughs> All right, we're gonna do the lazy thing. We're gonna look at this river from here because we don't wanna walk down these stairs and have to come back I up. I mean, it literally just leads to a road. Yeah, it just goes all the way down there. Oh, hello. As I was saying before I was interrupted, if we, go, if we went down those stairs, we would have to come back up just for a view that we could have seen from up here. The guys forcibly wash your windshield. They start spraying water on your windshield. So they wash it for you. But yeah, watch this. No, don't do anything. No, 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 I'm good. No, 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 I don't want. <laughs> I don't want, man. Hey, go away. <laughs> See what I mean? You ain't getting no tip. Bro. We gotta go. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Hey, amigo, put it down. I don't want it. No, 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 no. Give me ten. Give him ten pesos. He's drawing a smiley face. <laughs> give him ten pesos. If I even got, it, got, I don't got ten pesos. I don't care. I don't have nothing, man. I told you, don't do it. You have anything on him? Yeah, he's yeah. holding your uh, wiper blade hostage. <laughs> Look at this guy. I don't even have this guy it. holding a hostage. A this guy holding a hostage. I don't. Have we don't have money. You hungry? I don't have anything, man. I told I'm you don't do it. 
You want to eat this here? You want some dates? There you go. There you go. <laughs> I don't have cash on me, man. Sorry, I told you no. You should listen. I don't have cash on me, bro. No, no cash. Next time, don't f***ing do that. Oh, wiper blade. He, that's his wiper blade. Oh. So they wipe it with their own wiper blade. Someone's got to teach them a lesson. Like, you don't just f***ing, like, wash somebody's windshield when they say no. You know what I mean? <laughs> I gave him a box of dates. See, that's better than he said he's hungry. I gave him dates. Yeah, that's true, right? right? Yeah, that's one thing I hate about the city. Like, obviously, I have money, but I don't want to give them money. Don't just fucking wash my windshield when I literally said don't fucking wash my windshield. Well, no, so the other guy is doing his windshield, and that guy doesn't want it done. So he keeps turning on his wiper blades. See, look, 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 he turned on his wiper blades again. We're back at the Agora Mall. I have memories with my kids here, man. I have really good memories here with the kids, with Shadia. It makes me miss them even more. I get to see them in six more days, dude. Six more, I think. Six more days or seven? Something like that. Six more days. Yo, Alex, let me ask you. Have you ever been to a mall? Yeah? Yeah? No, my first time. Have you ever been to a mall like this? No. Really, never. Time, yeah. This is crazy. Right? This is new to him. Uh, in your hunt, in your entire life, you've never been to a mall like this. Wow, well, my first time. So I'm surprised to see that. Wow, really? You see, I take a picture any second, any moment. Yeah, yeah. He's taking pictures of everything. I'm like, I don't think he's been to a mall before. He's gonna send it to all his friends back home. That's like, Guys, crazy. This is what a mall looks like. Man, the things we take for granted, some people have never yeah. done. It's unreal. Why is that girl naked in the mall? Where? There's a naked girl in the mall. Yeah. It's not the same being here without the children, but it's still gonna be fun to play some games with the boys. Angelo thinks this game is rigged. Uh, Dave and Buster's, it's actually rigged. Oh, this ain't Dave and Buster's, pal! Oh, I had an 825, I think. Oh, Aldo. Aldo, Aldo. All right, Alex. All right, Alex. As hard as you can. Don't break your arm. <laughs> Looks like Mo Sarchi's the winner. Yeah, baby. I win. <laughs> Aldo wants to read you. Aldo wants to read you. What the hell? What the Looks like we know who's got the strongest punch in the group. <laughs> I really want to beat my record on this one. I want to try to get like in the 900s. I'm gonna do it while holding a camera too. All right, here we go. Ugh! Give me that nine, baby! Yeah! Uh, almost nine. All right, let's go for this one. Let's go for this one. 150, baby. Uh, I got 50, I got 50. Yeah! Holy moly! That's good, a hundred, I got a fifty, I got a ten, and a twenty-five. That's on the easy setting. Keep going. Really? Yeah. Trust me, no, most of the time you can barely even get one. I have my last four tickets remaining. I donated it to Alex so he can try this Fast and the Furious game. I just tried it out. I got first place. He's never been on anything like this. <laughs> Make me proud, Alex! You're in eighth place! You need to be number one like most RJ! Push the green button, Alex, to go faster. There you go. What the hell is that thing? All right, so Alex ended up getting third place. I didn't film it, but he got third place. Let's see what Aldo. Oh, Aldo's first. Yay, first place, Mike Yay! Lee. High five. Woo! That's how you do it. All right, now we're broke. All right, I went over 500 tickets, and with my tickets, I'm going to get Rania the Ecomite. Hell yeah. Uh, pink one. Pink. That's an eco mic for Rania. Rania loves to sing, so she's gonna love this. Gracias. Yeah.